Hey everyone, uh, this is Emmanuel here. Uh, glad you guys. It's uh, 8 a.m. here in <clears throat> in Utah, and uh, hopefully wherever you're you're chiming in from, go ahead and like go ahead and uh, just let me know um, where you're dialing in from, where you're watching this webinar. And I'm excited because I'm going to work with uh, a client that, um, due to my schedule, uh, things kind of went over time. And she was like, you know, like, you know, I, I asked said, you know, is it okay if we do this online? And um, she said, sure, yeah. So uh, usually, like I said, I usually ask for a volunteer typically. And um, I have been meeting with some uh, new people uh, today. But uh, she says, yeah, that's no, fine. I'll, I'll be online. In fact, this may be the first webinar where I can get her on the phone so you guys can hear her and how I'm talking to her. And we're going to, instead of you seeing her write things, you can just hear what she's saying. So I'm going to give her a call real quick. She knows I'm giving her a call and we're going to do a session. And um, I have no idea what we're going to work with. Uh, obviously, uh, I like to work with pain and things like that. I think she mentioned something about depression uh, real quick, but uh, she's willing to go online with us. So I uh, definitely give her support, give her, you know, give her some love. She's going to be watching through Facebook as well and then turning her computer volume off and so we can talk on the phone. So again, anybody, um, feel free to share this on your wall because like I said, who knows what we're going to work on today, but whether it's, you know, emotional, physical, spiritual, we're going to, you know, we don't know where we're going to go and you never know. You might have a friend that's like, man, I've been having a lot of anxiety recently or you might have a friend that's like, hey, I have a lot of stomach issues that I'm dealing with right now and like I've tried everything and I'm tired of taking medication. They might see this and say, hey, you know what? Like I, uh, I am looking for a new way, a new modality to help my situation out. Or maybe you know someone who's dealing with, uh, you know, love issues or wealth issues. I feel blocked in wealth and love. I might, we might bring that up today. I have no idea. So let's do this real quick. I'm going to give her a call and then um, we'll just kind of uh, go from there. So hold on one second, guys. Let me know if you guys hear me clearly and I also hopefully you get to hear her clearly. So if someone can maybe comment, let me know. Hello? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Okay, so um, I don't know, can you guys hear her okay? For some reason, you're a little quiet on the phone, but I just want to make sure that uh, people can hear you. So I'm, I'm, are, you on the, are you on the Facebook Live too? So I'm just right now on the phone. I don't see any pop-ups on Facebook yet. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me, uh, let me try to tag you uh, real quick. Can you guys hear her okay, by the way? I just want to make sure you guys can hear her. And can, you, can you say something real quick? <laughs> nice. I don't know who's listening, but <laughs> we, we we have about like eight listeners just listening in on us. So um yes, yeah, so let, let me do this. Let me let me try to tag you on here. Um that way um that way it will give you a notification. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, they say they can hear you, so you're good to go. Um so yeah, I see a pop up here. Okay. Yeah, so if you go on there. Uh, we could just dive right in. Um, so tell me, tell me real quick, like, um, just uh, again, how did you find out about the emotion code? How did you find out about me again? I'm always kind of curious how that happened. So I'm always searching for alternative or better ways to heal from anxiety, depression, and I stumbled upon Bradley Nelson's videos, mm -hmm. and then I also saw yours right under that in YouTube. So I was. Um, you know, pleasantly surprised that there was like kind of a new way to get at emotions and to heal things in the body. I hadn't heard of it before. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, and, um, and yeah, you, uh, so that, that's awesome. I, I don't really believe in coincidences. I'm, I'm glad that we're, we're connecting. And, um, uh, and so you watched the video, the emotion code, you probably watched the video also the heart wall. Have you watched that video too? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so so now the, the, the beautiful part about it is that we can just dive right in and we can do some healing because obviously you kind of have a general idea of like what we're doing. Um, so let's just do this. I know you told me you were 36 years young. Um, I was going to ask you, do you have any uh, kids at all? Yeah, I have one daughter. One daughter, okay. And how, how old is that little one? <laughs> three and a half. Oh, three and a half. Okay. And just, and just letting you know, uh, for those of you who are listening on the Facebook Live and for those of you who are, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually putting her phone kind of close to the microphone so you guys can hear her very well. Um, and um, so, but uh, I, and, and later on, I'm going to be putting her phone uh, down 
And so uh, I will probably be repeating what she says. If for some reason, like you guys can like barely hear her, I'm gonna just say, oh, she said this, guys. You know, just give me guys a heads up. Um, and so, but anyway, she said she has a daughter and you said three years old. And I wanted to let everyone know that if you do have a daughter or a son, this is kind of a beautiful thing, um, younger than uh, 18, um, then we don't even need their permission uh, to work with them, which is kind of exciting because I work with a lot of like three-year-olds, five-year-olds, seven-year-olds that, you know, they might have like, you know, they, maybe they get easily angry. Um, maybe I've, I've, I've worked with kids that are like colic or, you know, maybe they have food aversions. You're like, man, I just can't have her eat this. You know, like that. So just in the future, just so you know, um, you can always text me back and let me know like, Hey, I would I wouldn't mind uh, having a free session for my little one too, um, and we can definitely do that. Like that's I, I would I would whether you move forward with me or not, uh, I would give you a free uh, session for your little one because I just love working with kids, you know. And so um, so yeah, just giving you a heads up on that. Um, and, and so let's see. So you watch the emotion code, you watch the heart wall uh, video. So um, real quick, what um, I want to talk about is, um, you know, what type of um, symptoms are you dealing with? Like, if you want, maybe we could start on an emotional level and just tell me, like, kind of in bullet points, like, kind of like what things you're you're dealing with, like where you feel blocked. I know you, you mentioned, I think, something to do with depression. Is that right? Or and just yeah, yeah, for sure, depression since uh, my preteen years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, increased anxiety ever since becoming pregnant and then having a child. So that's an ongoing issue. Um, I'm dealing with severe tailbone pain for the last seven years, and there's no known cause. Mm -hmm. um, also, have severe uh, pain in the in both the balls of my feet. Um, sometimes my feet feel broken; they hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can do me a favor, real quick, um, uh, maybe you can uh, stand up. Uh, obviously, I don't want to like cause you pain or whatever, but um, but sometimes it's good to just get a really a re good reading. If you can kind of move your 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 tailbone area real quick and just see where how much uh, from a scale from one to ten, ten being like really annoying and one just a little bit there. What number would you give your uh, your tailbone pain? Um, well, when I stand up, maybe if I press on it, maybe it's only a three, but you know, sitting on it is a lot worse. Okay, so 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 maybe like when you're seated down. Uh, um, where, where is that right now? If you were to kind of just, you're sitting down, like what number would you give it? Um, let's see. Maybe a six. A six. Eight. Okay. Got it. Okay. Wait, did you say six to eight? Six. Just today. Oh, I oh, just today. Been sitting too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They said six to eight. I was like, okay, that's, that's quite a little gap there. Uh, what about, um, the, uh, I know you just stood up right now, so maybe you could feel the, the, the pain in the balls of your feet. Um, what what number would you give that right now? Um, right now, I would say a five. A five, okay. Right foot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you said on the right foot. Yeah, today it's the right foot. Right foot. Okay, got it. Okay, and then but nothing on the left foot really. Well, that's usually my worst foot, but oh. the pain the pain moves. Oh, got it. Got uh, it. Today okay. it's different. Okay, so pain in that right foot. And where where is the left foot right now? I'm kind of curious. Where what's that? What number would it's you give? Weird. It's weird. It uh, maybe just the one. It doesn't one? hurt too bad. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's let's do this. Um, so it seems like the tailbone is kind of winning. Like that's that's the most annoying one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so um, let's do this. Um, and then you have depression, anxiety. Do you have any um, symptoms of? And this is like obviously we don't. I know like everyone goes oh, well. I have to be diagnosed. Well, you kind of know yourself usually more than yeah. anybody else. Um, do you have any um, history of like any PTSD triggers like at all, like either coming from your childhood or re just recently? Do you have any like PTSD? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, okay. So, and then what, what, like, which, what, like, why do you think you, what's the main reason why you think you have that? Where, where is that coming from? Well, for sure. Before the age of five, I had an emotionally abusive daycare provider. Okay. Um, and then the pregnancy was so traumatic that I'm still dealing with PTSD from how sick I was during that. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so emotionally abusive, um, basically uh, like a daycare, and then like you, and then basically post pregnancy, the one that you just had, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it, got it. Okay. Um, um, did you have like postpartum depression at all, or or just more anxiety? Um, no, I had 
severe depression and anxiety oh. during the pregnancy. Oh, during the like pregnancy. Pre okay, got really, it. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, got it. All right. So, um, and so basically, like you know, when I when um, I when I work with people, what's what's kind of neat is that um, that you know you've, you've probably heard a psychologist, or maybe you haven't, but they they, they like to throw that word you know, neutralize, like, you know, and, um, and by the way, if you guys can, I know there's, we have like 11 followers here, uh, definitely, um, you know, send some love to Rachel here. And, and the fact that you're, you're willing to be open with all of us there, you're only empowering people. So I just want to give you a kudos just for doing that. Just because, you know, a, a lot, a lot of people are nervous to, to talk about what they're dealing with, but then if they hide it too long, that's why they don't get the healing. It's like, it's good to kind of share with people that want to help, you know? And so, um, you know, I'm here, obviously I can't be judgmental as a practitioner. I just, I, I I'm like a cartoon character with no face expression. I can't, I can't uh, be judgmental, you know? And so, um, but, Let's say um, with the, uh, do you have any type of uh, other like physical or I issues at all, like other, like IBS, headaches, fatigue, is there any other physical stuff you're dealing with? I have this uh, kind of unknown cause of this persistent right abdominal pain for okay. quite a few years now. Okay. And then, yeah, I would say fatigue is next in line and then restless legs. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so I'm just writing this down here. I'm doing a very good job uh, doing this with one hand. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, so restless uh, legs, uh, persistent right abdominal pain and fatigue. Okay, got it. Okay, good. And by the way, I have worked with these um, symptoms before, so that's the good news. And um, and yeah, and you just never know what it is. That's why I love the body code because um, you kind of just go in there and you're just like, um, you have like no idea what we're gonna find, you know. And there's a there's a beautiful um, holistic uh, you know, counseling, uh, or like quote that basically says like anything can cause anything, you know, and, uh, Dr. Brad always talks about that. He's like, as a holistic doctor, you have to think that every, anything can cause anything, like not to jump to any conclusions. Let's just ask the subconscious what's going on and let's just dive in there, you know? And, um, and so let's, let's say we got rid of all these, um, these symptoms here. Let's say like, like there were like a magic wand. I was able to just kind of like, like, whoop, just like, all of them are gone. Depression, anxiety, table, tailbone pain, all the stuff you just listed. Um, I, w I also like to ask that question, like, what would you want to change? Let's say, like, you're in ground zero now, right? You're like, hey, I'm starting to feel like myself again. Um, if you could, like, a lot of people don't know this, but in the body code, you can do things in regards to, uh, you know, love, wealth, uh, more peace with your past, more connection with someone, more clarity of your mission. Like if you could just rub a genie lamp and like you have like, you know, one or two wishes and you're like, man, I wish I could just have more of this in my life uh, or less of this in my life. I just want less of this in my life. Well, what is that for you? Yeah, definitely, um, you know, finding my purpose in life and okay. clarity. And I just, I feel not happy in my work and I, Okay. I feel like that's definitely something that I need to solidify. Okay, cool. And then sometimes when you find your purpose in life, you may be like, uh, when I do find my mission, can I have some abundance with that? You know, like, can, you know, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so I can put, yeah. I, I can put that in there too. Cause clarity of your mission might be like a hard wall thing. Cause I think you've heard about the hard wall. Uh, yeah. once you clear someone's hard wall, sometimes for like, like myself, I was like, man, for some reason I'm really liking the emotion code. Um, and, um, I liked it more than, bef than when I had a heart wall, if that makes sense. The heart wall didn't allow me to see that, the that the emotion code was even my mission, you know? And so, um, so yes, yeah, so let's see, it's got finding purpose in life and then abundance. So I can definitely help you with, with those as well. And let's do this guys. Uh, let's, let's, uh, I'm just telling guys to everyone who's, who's here listening. And by the way, if anyone who's listening to this, if you guys, again, can share this on your wall, maybe you can tag someone who maybe is dealing with pain in their body. Obviously, uh, Rachel has been open with us. She has pain in different areas of her body and there's some emotional stuff going on here so again we're kind of ta we're gonna tackle some areas here and you never know you might have a friend that might appreciate uh, and might even have similar symptoms uh, to what Rachel has so um, let's do this let me um, let's uh, wh which one do you want to work on do you want to work on more of the the tailbone pain it was kind of like beating out the pain of the balls of your feet which were five so uh, did you want to work on the tailbone pain which one do you prefer to work on that you might yeah because I'm, I'm just about to go and have an injection because it's so bad. But I'd like to see if there's a different approach to sure. helping. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's do let's do the tailbone. And we said it's a six. So you can go ahead and sit down. By the way, 
Um, okay. And then um, uh, let's do this. Let's just take 10 seconds real quick. We'll just ask for some help in our mind. Uh, so if everyone can uh, do the little pr uh, prayer emoji. Anybody know how to do the prayer emoji? If you don't, you're missing out on Facebook Live. I'm just joking. But yeah, just, just, let's just take 10 seconds. We'll just ask for some help that our sessions inspired, whether you're asking help from God, you know, universe, higher self, wh whatever you believe in. But just we'll just take 10 seconds in our mind and then we'll just jump right into it, okay? All right, guys, and for those of you who are just jumping on here, if you can share where you guys are dialing in from, that'd be, that'd be great. I'd love to kind of see where everyone's from. Uh, anyway, so let's, let's jump into Rachel's session here. So I'm connecting with you energetically. You want to make sure you drink plenty of water the next two days. Make sure you're just well hydrated. Um, I'm just going to ask, you know, are there any um, trapped emotions or hidden trapped emotions affecting the tailbone area? And your body says yes. Okay, so now we're going to do... Because I'm going to find, and you probably, I don't know if you've seen me do this before, but I'll find an age and emotion. And if anything kind of like rings a bell with you where you're like, hey, wait a minute, I know what, I know what happened at that time. And it's always give or take a year, you know. So um, just tell me like in one quick sentence, like I think this has to do with this, you know. And then um, what I'll do is uh, I'll just release it. Now, if two things pop up where you're like, eh, it's either work or uh, this relationship at the time, one of those, I'll muscle test your body again, say, oh, which one was it? And your body, your, trust me, your subconscious remembers like a 1080p camera. It'll be like, oh, it's this one. And then lastly, if you have no idea what it is, you're like, I have no idea. I'll just release it anyway. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to remember anything actually for us to release it. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's just jump into it here. Uh, let's see. I don't need, uh, so with trapped emotions here, tailbone area, let's see what we find here. Okay, there's a sadness here. Let me see where this came from. Let's see, 36, 30, 10. Uh, it's around 12 years old. Uh, any, anything ring a bell around 12? Like I always, around this time I always say, is it more school life, more home life stuff? What do you think around 12? Like anything ring a bell? Yeah, I do remember starting to feel, you know, some depression mm -hmm. and just, Maybe, you know, feeling like I didn't really belong in my family. I was like the third child and kind of quiet. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me see. Anything to do with that time, like you and your chemistry with your family, things like that? Your body said yes. Okay, perfect. And sometimes it'll say no. And then I'll just kind of give you a clue. I'll be like, um, and I'll kind of like look at through all your spectrum of life. And your body, I'll be like, is it work? Is it family? Is it relationship? And your body will actually give me a clue. I'll be like, hey, something to do with this, you know? So, um, but you're, you're right. It has something to do with the family dynamic. So let's just release the sadness here for you. Okay, so did you release this one? And uh, body says yes. There's another trapped emotion here. There is. Let's see. Okay, there's some type of insecurity here. Let's see where this comes in. Uh, let's see. It's actually recent. 33, 1, 32. It's around 31, just five years ago. Anything ring a bell five years ago where you're like, eh, I feel kind of insecure in this area of my life. Don't feel too secure about this. What, what is that? Just five years ago-ish. Um, being newly married and oh. thinking about starting a family probably. Totally, yeah. Is there anything to do with that at all? And by the way, you're doing a great job. Usually the, the first thought that comes to mind, uh, that's usually the one that it is. So just kind of like lean on that, you know? So okay. you're, you're doing a great job with that. Let's see, there's another trapped emotion here. There is. Let's see what else you find here. Okay, there's a helplessness here. Let me see where this comes in. Uh, let's see. It's around 27, so give or take a year, 27, feeling kind of like helpless about a situation. What is that all about? Is this family, relationship, work? What is this around 27? Gosh, um, you know, work and trying to find a mate both come to mind. Okay, yeah, okay, so now watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask your body, is it, so it could be the, the looking for a partner or it could be work, right? So I'll ask your body, is it both of these? Body's like, body's like eh, is it one of these? It is. Let me see. Yeah, this is relationship. Yeah, so let's so let's just release this helplessness here. And let's see, is there another uh, trapped emotion here? Eh, body says no. Anything hidden? Body says yes. There's a hidden trapped emotion here. Let's see what this is. Um, hmm. 
some type of rejection going on here. So, and rejection could be like either you feeling rejected or maybe you are kind of rejecting someone or something. Let me find out what age this is at. Let me see. Um, it's around 16 actually, around your teens. Uh, anything ring a bell around like either feeling yeah. rejected or you were rejecting something? Anything ring a bell with that? Yeah, um, totally. Uh, I would say maybe just slightly younger to that even, but in that junior high, high school age, mm -hmm. feeling rejected by some old friends. Sure. Yeah, so maybe like, like crazy. Remember, this, this could be 15, you know, so, uh, yeah. you know, so is anything to do with like friends at all? Your body says yes. Okay, good. Let's just release this rejection here. Uh, let's see, is there another uh, hidden trapped emotion here? And actually, bias says no. Um, so no other hidden ones. So let's just go ahead and like take a deep breath in real quick, okay? And then go ahead and like walk like 10 steps, okay? Uh, so walk, walk 10 steps around. Don't mess with your uh, uh, tailbone yet, um, but just like walk around 10 steps. And then after the 10 steps, let's check your tailbone. Let's see if it feels a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more relaxed. We'll see where it's at after you walk your steps there. I mean, I'm sitting on it, and usually the pain comes with prolonged sitting. Sure. But it doesn't feel too bad right now. Yeah, okay, good. So what, what number would you give it right now? Like you said it was a six before. What number is it now? A three? Okay, good. Okay, and then you might even feel this too. I don't know. Some some clients feel it earlier than others, but like you might feel just let's let's forget about your pain. You might feel more like relaxed, a little bit more calmer. Um, how do you feel over there, just in general? Um, yeah, I mean, pretty pretty relaxed. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, it's so, a little bit emotional from all that <laughs> recall. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and remember, I'll, I'll do something for you at the end to kind of help you uh, in regards to um, processing afterwards. You know, like there's there's something I can say to kind of help you out with that. Um, like guys, if anyone who's joining in right now, you guys are kind of like midway in the session. Uh, I'm working with Rachel here, and she just had a tailbone pain about a six, you know, and so we were working on that. Uh, we released three trapped emotions um, and then a hidden one. And after all that, her pain went from a six to a three, almost 50% improvement. Uh, but now I'm, I'm gonna, uh, now my perfectionist OCD side is gonna start coming out. And uh, I'm gonna just say, you know, is there something else in the body code chart uh, that can help out in the situation? So, um, so you guys can follow me along here. So for those of you who are unaware of the body code, the body code is the most advanced healing system out there devised by Discover Healing and Dr. Brad. Uh, there's about 220 hyperlinks in there, 220 plus hyperlinks on here, uh, and it covers all six major areas of the body, which is pathogens, misalignments, nutrition, toxins, circuits and systems, energies. So you can... Um, could you see this, by the way? Uh, I was going to ask yeah. you that. Oh, okay, cool. So you're going to see. So you're, you're getting the the upgraded uh, session because you get to see where I'm going. So I'm just going to say, for example, what's causing this pain back there? Uh, is there anything we can release to help out with that pain back there? And your body says yes. Okay, so let's see where we go here. And let's see. The first thing is there's some type of misalignment here. And let's see. It's in the skeleton. So I'm just muscle testing you over here. Uh, let's see, axial skeleton and the vertebral column, and let's see, yeah, sacrum and coccyx bone, let's see. Yeah, so it's that little bone back there, it's that, that and I always pronounce it the wrong way, I was, I'm like, is it coccyx, is it coccyx, like it's like, I always pronounce it the wrong way, but but that's, that's yeah, so that that's the one that's kind of coming up here, and so, um, oh, you pronounced it correctly, how do you say it? Cock six, yeah, I think you pronounced it right. Okay, so um, so there's some imbalance there. So usually, like you know, chiropractors like no bones very well, and Dr. Brad's like you have to remove the energies that are bothering it, you know. And so let me find out why that's there. So let me see energies, something post traumatic, and there's a physical trauma here. So um, uh, for those of you guys can see that, so physical trauma can mean a couple of things. Uh, uh, Rachel could mean like a very uh, a car accident, a fall, a punch, or it could mean like a very stressful time period. Your body labeled it as a physical trauma, but it's actually just like the emotional train kind of hitting you. 
and your body's saying, hey, there's some leftover train tracks on my body right now. Remove these guys. So I'm just going to ask real quick, um, you know, where, where is the... Um, where is the physical trauma at? Let me, let me find out real quick. Uh, 36, no, 36, 30. It's around 33. So that's pretty recent, right? So that's like three years ago. Um, anything ring a bell, like being kind of really stressed out or was there a car accident, a fall, bad work? Remember, this could be 32, it could be 34. The pain started before that, so that does that matter? Um, no, yeah, that's well. Like, um, remember, this is just um, this is something that's adding to your pain. So, for example, remember how oh. you remember how we had trapped emotions that were earlier, like six, twelve, sixteen, that were adding to it. Uh, this yeah. is just another factor that's adding to it. So, um, so for example, um, yeah. But what was it? Was was thirty three more of an overwhelming time, more of emotional overwhelming, or was there an actual accident yeah. that you dealt with? That's when I. I had just turned 33, and then I had my, my baby. So. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to ask your body, because you never know. I'm going to say, is this an actual physical trauma? So your body says no. Is this more just like a period of stress, bullseye? So period of stress, and then I'm just going to release this physical trauma here. Let's see. Is there another um, Is there another um, uh, energy we need to release here on this uh, on this slide here? And uh, your body says no. Okay, so is that is that bone happy now? It's not. So let me find out what else we find here. Some type of energy here, and something emotional. Okay, so now the next one is there's an emotional resonance energy here. Okay, so emotional resonance energy. You see that little bell down there? It's kind of just like ringing energy after a very emotional event. So if I say, for example, how many of these do you have here? Let's see, one, two. Your body says you have two of them here. So let's see what the first one is here. Um, Yeah, feeling very vulnerable, like a like a ringing energy of vulnerability. If I say, for example, is this around 33? Yeah, your body says yes. That rings a bell, right? Kind of feeling a little bit vulnerable around that time. Yeah. 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 So let's just release this vulnerability here. Let's see, is there another emotional resonance energy? And your body says yes. Let's see what the next one is here. There's fear. Yeah, does that ring a bell too? Maybe feeling some fear around that time? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I was gonna say, is this around 33? Yeah, see, it's the same time. Let's just release this fear here. Let's see, is there another emotional resonance energy here? The body's like, nah, is there a hidden one? Actually, there's a hidden one here. Let's see, hidden emotional resonance energy here. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Yeah, there's uh, overwhelmed. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, Probably an understatement for you, but let me just uh, release this overwhelmed here. Let's see. Is there another um, hidden emotional uh, resonance energy? Body says no. Anything? Yes. Yeah, so let's see. Are, uh, is, is this bone happy now? It is. So now I'm just going to realign this bone, make sure it's perfectly where it's supposed to be and functioning properly. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, go ahead and take a deep breath in real quick. And uh, let's do that walk. Okay. Like I would walk maybe 15 steps this time because, uh, you know, we did a lot of releasing here um it was like and we also aligned a bone so i just kind of want to see after you do this walk let's see if it feels even lighter you said it was like a a three i want to see if it, it's moved a little bit or if it feels a little bit lighter where is it at right now okay let me sit down sure see Still feels just maybe a one, just a tiny bit sore. Oh, good. Okay, good. So, yeah. but it, it went down to a one though. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, um, that's great. And then let's see. Is there something else here that can? Um, so it's barely there. Is there something else here we can release to help out in that area? Oh, look, your body says yes. Okay. So then, uh, let's let's just see one more thing here, real quick. Give me one second here. Okay. Circuits and systems here. Let's see. All right, we are in the acupuncture system, and we are in the eight extraordinary meridians. Yeah, we're in the governing meridian, okay? Uh, so the governing meridian, so this is, uh, there's some type of imbalance here. I was gonna ask you some sometimes, uh, do you ever, do you sometimes ever get um, like headaches at all? Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This can also improve your headaches too. Um, obviously, this is psychological issues, which mean, you know, you know, could be depression or anxiety. You know, and so um, yeah, this will help out all those areas: depression, anxiety, and also headaches too. So on top of helping out that back, usually it's just two um, trapped emotions. So this is, instead of going to an acupuncturist, you can actually have a body code practitioner release the same energies, and you get the same effect which is kind of cool. So you don't have to have needles in you, right? I prefer not to have needles in me. Uh, I'd rather have just the energy released, you know? So um, usually it's just two trapped emotions. So I'm just gonna go in here and see what these two trapped emotions are for the governing meridian. And let's see what we find here. Um, and by the way, any trapped emotion can cause um, issues. Um, so I'm just gonna see what, what this is real quick. Um, okay, the first one is an inherited emotion. And let's see what this is. Uh, inherited emotion. Oh, look, there's a fear here. An inherited fear. Um, let me see where this comes from. It's from your mom's side. Your mom's uh, side again. Your mom's side again. Um, does this pattern continue like this? Body says yes. Let's see. 3, 5, 10, 20. This is uh, 17 generations here. It's pretty pretty big here. Um, let's see, did this um, also um, affect is it your daughter, right? You have a daughter? Yeah. Did this also affect your daughter? It did. So this is actually going to get some healing for your daughter as well, which is, uh, I think you might appreciate that, so that she yeah. feels less fear in her life, you know? So um, if you haven't noticed the fear yet, it, it'll come. Watch, it'll be like, it'll be like well, it would have come. It would be like at six or seven and be like, man, she's always scared to go to class and she's scared to talk to people, you know? And it could be this inherited fear. I mean, it's pretty heavy, 17 generations here. So um, anyway, let's just release this one. Um, I would take a, a deep breath after that. It's kind of a, a big one there. Let's see, there's another trapped emotion here. There is. Let's see what else we find here. Um, okay, you also have a preconception trapped emotion. Now, I need you to be kind of open-minded with these guys because these guys basically are like spirit body uh, trapped emotions. So it means that like before you came here, Dr. Brad's muscle tested, which is kind of neat. He like, he's kind of his own devil's advocate. He just muscle tested. He's like, what were we doing back there? Like in this little spirit body before we came here. And every, everyone always has their own beliefs about that time. But what I love about what he does is like, he doesn't leave it up on theory. He leaves it up to like your body actually muscle testing. And so it's like, and, and people that don't even know the concept or maybe don't even believe in a higher source or creator, they're going to be stunned when their arms stay strong. And what he says is he's like, what were we doing back there? And the answers that he gets typically is we're doing two things. One is we were uh, working on our gifts and talents with our creator. Everyone comes here to earth with gifts and talents. The second thing is we also have, um, we also were maybe looking after our family members who were here on earth. Uh, so like, for example, like you probably have some friends and family that like go like, I feel like I was living back in the 1700s. I had like a very vivid dream or a vision or something like that. And you'd be like, I'm okay. But really what they might've been remembering is their spirit life of them looking after a family member, like kind of guiding them, helping them out. But they weren't there physically yet. They were just there spiritually. And we actually really care about our generational line. Does that make sense? And so, for example, if I say, you know, what preconception trapped emotion is this? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's actually panic. See, and I want to say, how old is this panic here? Let's see. 100, 200, 70, 60, 40, 30, 20, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 212 years old. You might be like, whoa, that's really old. Well, really, um, this panic could have been not even yours. If I say, is this your panic? Your body's like, no. Is this an absorbed one? Uh, it is, oh, no, it's not absorbed. I'm sorry. It's a, is it a sh shared one? Shared and absorbed kind of have very similar meanings. But basically what this means is that you might have been following a woman who's a family member, and then she felt panic. Uh, in her life and because you were following her and guiding her you kind of shared the panic with her and then you've held that panic energy for 212 years probably not helping out your anxiety let's just say that so let's yeah. just let's just remove this panic here let's see is there another preconception trapped emotion and body says no uh, anything hidden no so is this meridian happy it is so now let's do this um let me just uh, make sure there's no blocks in this governing meridian make sure that there's uh, it's um like passing through it. Let's do this. Go ahead and uh, take a deep breath one more time and let's go do that walk for the final time here. Just like 10 steps. 
And for those of you who are watching, if there's anything that like caught your attention or you're like, well, that's a really interesting concept or, you know, whatever, um, or what you got out of this, feel free to comment below. Obviously, we all want to thank Rachel for being open with us today and um, send her some good vibes, you know. Um, but yeah, go ahead and do that walk real quick and then um, go ahead and like, uh, after that, just go ahead and sit down and let's see where it goes. You said it was a one, it was barely there, but I want to see if it feels a little bit lighter, more relaxed, like where is it right now? Yeah, I'm actually sitting on my butt, and <laughs> usually I can't sit on it. So, good. Is there such thing as a half a point? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Let's 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 do a point five. That's fine. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, I'm glad I'm glad you're able to sit that way. And um, yeah, basically, well, here's what's interesting: is that point uh, point five. Give it about two hours. Drink lots of water, and you might be surprised. You'll be like, um. He said two hours, right? Let me check on that. Whoa, it's like at a zero now. I don't even feel it, you know? Um, it wouldn't be a big shock to me. In fact, if you text me and said, hey, there's no pain now, I probably you'll probably text you back like, surprise, surprise, happy face, you know? Um, so, But either that or maybe the next session, if it stays at a 0.5, let's say it doesn't come back like, and it doesn't come back heavier in pain, then that means that it's stuck at a 0.5. That could happen. Uh, that means like we need one more session where I can just take five more minutes on it and be like, hey, are there any other imbalances affecting this area? And then we'll squash it and we can do something else, okay? Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is this is I'll, I'll, uh, I'll email you these results here and then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll text you later on um, you know, kind of like how you want to move forward in regards to healing here. I know we're, we're kind of running out of time here. I got to go to my next session here, but I just want to say thank you um, for par like participating and, and for being vulnerable online and letting people know what you're going through. I'm, I'm glad the pain's gone lower. Um, do you have any questions at all kind of about the, about the session? Okay, so it is normal for meeting more sessions occasionally. Sure. Yeah, I, 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 usually, I usually meet with people once a week. Uh, with the, the with the depression and anxiety, I usually recommend clearing the heart wall, which I know you you probably watched that video. And what I tend to do is I clear the heart wall like like half the session, like I start removing it, like maybe eight to ten to twelve layers, and then the rest of the session I work on something else. Like you might be like, hey, let's do the the pain and the balls of your feet. Let's get rid of that, you know. Then the next session I do another heart wall session, keep removing trauma to help out depression and anxiety. Then I go like, hey, let's work on this right ab abdominal pain. Make sense? And so typically like I'm always a big guy proponent of like let's remove the heart trauma. Let's make you feel like the way you're supposed to feel life. Let's get rid of that. But I'm also working on little things here and there. And then if you want, you know, we had, depending on which package you want, some people are like, I know Emmanuel, that's just the beginning, just removing my depression, anxiety. I, I bet both, most of my pain issues will go away in my body. But I want to do like another six sessions where it's like, I work on finding purpose in life. And then I want to work on like, I want to really dive deep on like money and abundance. You know, we might do three, four or five sessions where we're like really focusing on like you being a magnet to like money and wealth, you see? And so, um, because that, that's, let's, let's get to the fun part. You know, like the six sessions of work with the heart wall and removing your trauma, that's just getting you to ground zero, but that's not what the body code was made for. Body code was made for you to like succeed in every area of your life. And so we can like literally start fine tuning every area. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll, so so like I said, if you're someone who's like, I want to dive deep, like let's go, like scuba time, i probably look into like the 12-session package, uh, but there's like three ways to kind of go about doing that, but I'll send you a link on it. You can just see, you know, what it takes to kind of like, you know, pay as you go. There's a six-session package, which I call like the heart wall journey. Then there's like the 12, which is like the heart wall journey and refinement. Like you could, we get to start being picky about your life and being like, what areas do you want to like, succeed in, start moving forward in. Make sense? Right, right. Cool. Well, thank you so much again. Do you have any other questions at all? Um, so yeah, totally interesting how like doctors can find a physical reason for it, but you're sure. saying that emotional things can cause the physical? Totally. Like, yeah. like uh, yeah, basically that's what Dr. Brad's theory was, is that emotional baggage is the beginning of disease, illnesses, pain that we, we kind of, they kind of discount because they're invisible energies, but through muscle testing, they become, you can, you can basically call them out and then use a magnet and your intention to release them. And you're actually fixing the imbalances to help out the symptoms instead of putting a bandaid like medication or things like that. We're actually finding the root cause. That's exactly right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
do you have to totally believe it works or is there no actually actually you, you have to have uh, the faith of a mustard seed um you know the fact that the, 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 the fact that you showed up to our session i tell people is enough faith yeah okay Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, and obviously like your pain just went down, like literally like 90, 99.99%. So obviously that's, that's a pretty big change in just a few minutes, you know? And so I, that's why I always work on pain first, you know, but, um, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Those are great questions, by the way. Any other questions at all? Um, no, I'll see how the next few hours go and cool. I'll be in touch. Yeah, I'll, 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 send, I'll send you a link to kind of you can like look at how you can move forward. You can just text me back and say, hey, uh, I want to do the six sessions or I want to do the 12. You just, you just let me know how you want to move forward and then we can meet on a weekly basis. We can do way more healing. Okay. Sound thanks. good? All right, guys. Well, thanks guys for joining the Facebook Live. Um, if you have any other questions at all, you guys can go ahead and uh, comment below on this Facebook uh, Live video. I'm going to post it up on YouTube later on. And, um, but, you know, or if you tag someone on here that maybe you like think would appreciate uh, someone um, witnessing pain go down, you guys can uh, tag someone or share this on your wall and tag somebody that you really care about. All right, guys, everyone have a great day. Um, and Rachel, we'll be in touch soon. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah. take care. Bye-bye.